today I'm changing out the engine bolt mounts on this Honogram clone. But I just came back from the store and this is what I found. You see this bolt right here? Let me see if I can focus. But this is the engine bolt mount and it's like it's completely it's not supposed to look like it's not supposed to be sticking out like that at all it's supposed to be flush with this with this metal piece but i think it broke off i wasn't expecting it to break off like that but um these bolts are known to break off anyways if you buy one of these change it out as soon as possible to like a higher grade bolt which is what i have over here this is class 8 uh bolt the m8 125 by 120 and then here's the bolts along with it it's a class 8 m8 1.25 and I got some washers. So first things first, I'm probably gonna take off this chain cover, which is right here. One, and then the other bolt is right underneath here. Or right there. I'm gonna use my jack just so when I do take off the bolts, I'm gonna put it underneath here, just so I could um, support the engine. And it'll probably make it easier for me to take out the bolts too, just so it releases some tension. Here's the old bolt, and here's the new one. So what happened with the old one was, it broke at the head of the, the nut. And that's how much came off. So this bolt goes underneath in here let me try to see right here goes underneath there and it's right underneath this um, chain guide but there's the hole right there since I don't have enough space to put the, the new bolt in there I'm gonna take off parts of this the chain guide and there's a bolt right here and I think that's that might be it so what I think I'm gonna do instead of going it try to put it in this on this side I'm gonna go try to put it on the other side. <clears throat> Through that hole right there. And then just put the nut on the other side.
on there. I have this. And I have the other one up here. And then I'm gonna hand it over to my lady so you can see the other side. So, um, for the torque spec on these, since it didn't really come with like a, an owner's manual or anything like that, the torque spec for these bolts, I just found it for um, the Honda Groms. They're 40 foot pounds. So you could just use that as a reference, but it did feel like it was 40 because it was it was stuck on there pretty good. I got both of the engine mounts on there. I got one right here, it's torqued down to 40. This one is also for uh, torqued down to 40. And then I have a third mount coming on the way, but it's gonna be mounted over here on the bottom. And that'll be for another video. But um, for this one right here, I didn't put the bolt through this side on the clutch side I went ahead and put it on the other side because it was an easier um, it was easier access to get to and also like if I had to put it on this side this would have been blocking it the rear set and so with this one it's you could put it anyway. It's, this one's pretty easy to get to. But, um, yeah, I needed to get the chain guard out of the way, which I still need to put back and bolt it on there, which is easy. And then and I'll show you how it looks. As you can see, doesn't shake anymore so hopefully it also took off like a lot of uh, some of the vibrations but yeah with the old one it would it would shake or it wouldn't it wouldn't shake like while it's idling this thing would lift up a little bit you could tell like the engine the bolts were pretty bad but yeah, like when you rev it, this thing will go up, the engine. But now, it's pretty stable here. Let me put it down, and then I'll rev it. 